All right. Hello, Internet. Hello. Um, we just saw The Boy two weeks late. Uh, yeah, because snow and shit. Yeah. So, um... Uh, the Boy is a movie starring Lauren Cohen, who is a woman who goes to England and is paid a large amount of money by some old people to babysit a doll. That they believe is their son. I like making movies sound stupid when I describe of them. Of course. Um, so, I'm gonna let you go first, since you were the one who really was not looking forward to seeing this. So, I walked into this movie thinking it was gonna be complete garbage. I just, it looked like shit. But, I don't know, I, I there were things that I liked about it, there were things I didn't like, like, uh, something that I, I don't think I'll be able to look past is how the first hour and 15 minutes were just so fucking long, they just dragged so much and, like, nothing happened. But then, like, the last 20 minutes were phenomenal. Um, I went into this movie expecting pretty much, like, nothing special. I was expecting kind of something like The Forest, where it would be, um, kind of weak and just, like, average at best. And I left pretty, like, pleasantly surprised, where it wasn't, it wasn't a great movie, but it was a good movie. It was, like, it was, it was definitely passable. And, um, I, I, I kind of enjoyed myself during it. Um, so, acting-wise, how do you feel? Uh, Lauren Cohen did phenomenal. She was just, she did a very good job with this role. I mean, I, I can't really think of much where she hasn't done a really good job. And yeah, she, she I brought agree. a great, she was just a great presence in this movie. I totally agree with that. I like, I love her in Walking Dead, I loved her in Supernatural, and she was, uh, she was really good in this, too. She, um, she brought, like, a certain, like, energy and, like, emotion to the role that really, like, worked in, in the movie's favor, where, like, you, ca you actually did care about the character a lot, and she was really, mm -hmm. she really, um brought something good to it uh everybody else they were okay yeah no they weren't bad um the, the old people were good yeah, i like the both of good. them um the british boyfriend dude he was yeah he was good he was, okay. he was funny i liked him he was he was funny i'll say that he was he was all right he wasn't anything special but he didn't really, they didn't really give him anything special yeah he was a very minor role um the abusive dick ex-boyfriend was an archetype an, an abusive dick ex-boyfriend he yeah. was literally a car he was a cardboard cutout but um, um but yeah no i think that Overall, the acting was pretty okay. You know what I really liked? The cinematography. I agree. Cinematography, cinematography and set design. I wrote that in my notes. Were both really good, well done. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's going to be right to say this, but I almost there were certain shots. Where I was like they were James Wan esque. I thought there were there were a lot of these like slow creeping shots that were really good and they really helped to the movie's tone. They actually I made it like tense and a little like creepy at times. Yeah. Like it was like God forbid subtle in. 2016 it's unheard yeah. of but yeah, no. um it was, it was good i like for it. all the subtleties it had there were a lot of um you know in your face jump scare yeah, obnoxious the, the moments. counterparts which you know some of them were good some of them were not i didn't think many of them were good in this yeah. case but um there, were, there was like one or two where i was like oh, okay that was fair but i, was, I telegraphed all of them i was just kind of like okay it's, it's coming five four and then yeah um but like I said, for every one of those, there was an equally like tense and well done, not jump scare moment that was really I don't know. There was there was some it had some creepy bits. Oh, definitely. It it had the set design. Like I said, was gorgeous. It was really it was just really um these. The house was creepy as shit. Like vast like gothic house that really just drags you into like the it drags you into it and kind of get immersed just because the sets and cinematography too. Cinematography and just the lighting. There yeah, was, the lighting. The lighting in certain really scenes good. was was on point. I was really really like. I loved it. Like, the, the whole... Everything that we just said, the set and all that, I'll really just... The atmosphere for this movie was Yeah, phenomenal. the atmosphere for the whole movie, it really, like... Between the lighting, the cinematography, and just the, like, um... Set design. The set design and everything, it drags you into the movie, and it really gets you immersed, and it doesn't really let go until the end. Um... Even, even like, scare-wise, I think we really touched on already, was that it's... Yeah. It, there were some cheap jump scares, a lot of, you know, pretty good tense moments so that's yeah pretty exactly so how say. i'm so now here's the thing that like i wasn't expecting much from how how did you feel about the overall story there really wasn't much of an overarching story is the thing like there i mean there was but it was it wasn't most of it fancy. was backstory and it really uh, yeah that's the thing it, a lot of it was it it was a lot of things that you could fill in the blanks with your mind and it made sense and i really i kind of liked that it didn't feel the need to spoon feed you all the necessary information but honestly that's why i feel like i'd like to watch this movie again to get a more full opinion yeah i'm curious i, I am like curious especially knowing the way like the twist and how all like how it all like tied together i really yeah. want to see it again to like knowing that and i want to see what else i missed because i'm sure there were things that we i'm missed sure that yeah were, like second time around be like oh that was plot relevant yeah uh there were it was really 
I don't know. Overall, I thought it was I thought it was pretty solid though. No, it was it was interesting. It was interesting. It was definitely interesting. That. It was definitely um, not what I expected at all. When I was oh, not at all. I was good. expecting. I'm really glad. Stupid <laughs> fucking spooky ghost ghost story. Spooky ghost. Now you're. <laughs> um, no, it was really good. It was. I don't. Know, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. No, I I didn't. I enjoyed it too. So I'm I'm actually happy to say that. It's it's not like a it's not a. It's not a perfect movie. It's it's not even it's not. I wouldn't say it was even a great movie, but it's a good movie. Yeah. Where uh, it has it has it has flaws. There's there were things there were little things that bothered me. Um, there's there's a couple like really, um, really like just jumpy and some weird edits in there that aren't necessarily good edits. Like sometimes quick cuts can be a good thing, but then there's there's certain edits where there's just like weird imagery interspersed in there, and it it does take you out of the movie a little bit. Um, it does drag a little, like you were saying. Yeah, no, that's my... The first, like... That's the only thing I can't forgive this roughly movie Roughly the first hour for me was where oh, I... an hour and 15, even. That was like an hour and 40-minute movie. I'm trying to remember... I don't, yeah, it was like an hour and 40-minute movie, but yeah, like, the the first hour, hour and 15 minutes do kind of creep along, where it... I don't know if it's necessarily a bad thing, because it is kind of a slow burn, but it's... There isn't a lot happening for the... For the at least for the opening... Yeah, especially, like, the first 40 minutes. Yeah, there's minutes, not too much happening. nothing. Um, it... But yeah, it, it's uh, it does. All of that is kind of resolved in a in a really really good climax that yes. ends up working. It yeah. kind of I don't know I don't know where I was it going just, with that thought. <laughs> a phenomenal twist that ties it all together. Yeah, the twist it... was really good. Um, but yeah, it was just like like I said, little things that bothered me, but nothing that really took me out of the film overall. It just had, there were a couple little edits that bothered me, and the um, it it dragged a little bit. Um, yeah, that's like pretty much all. Like. All the bad things I have to say about it. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, I think we're going to talk spoilers now, so if you haven't seen the movie yet and you want to see the movie, uh... Which, please do. Like, it's actually worth going out and seeing. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, so if you if you haven't seen it yet and you want to watch it, click the somewhere over here. We're going to put a thing here, here, <laughs> click here. Okay, I think you held the annotation up for long yeah man um <laughs> so i think we do you want to just jump right to the twist first or uh, I don't I don't know. Know. is there anything else specific you want to talk about specific spoilers um yeah no uh, i really i don't have anything i want to talk about other than the twist so I that mean. twist um the doll is just a doll there's no ghost brahms is just a very damaged man living in the walls and yeah. I, that might sound kind of dumb, but for the movie it works, I it think, well. It worked really because well. Because, A, and, and I didn't see it coming. And he was creepy as shit looking, too. Just well, like, the porcelain mask is, oh, like... Yeah, he's wearing a porcelain doll porcelain. mask, it's and very, underneath very, he's all horrifically burned and shit. Like, that I just want to... really I, cool. I didn't want to comment that on the, in the non-spoiler section. I thought the, the makeup on his spurs looked pretty yeah, bad. No, I, didn't, I was not happy with the makeup on that, but I mean, over... No, but it again, still that's looks a little cool. Thing. It that's looks just me and my whole, like, standards for... And you didn't really... You didn't see the fractal effects. Exactly. It looked really cool. He was definitely creepy in the sense that just it's like a grown man acting like a child in a child mask, and it's just with the fucking neck and, beard poking out. From yeah, the <laughs> oh, yeah, he, did. he had a neck. He beard. was really creepy looking, and he's it, and he's also talking in like a child's voice. So until really, you piss him off, in which case it's just this grown man's angry like growling. Yeah, it, it was um that I will like it was a good twist. I didn't see it coming. No, that, no it, was just, it was a really good twist. Really well done. Uh, really tied together a lot of the backstory yeah it definitely did because for a lot movie. of the film I was wondering why the um the, the old people left and then I realized after the fact I'm like oh well I mean if you if you're murder if you were hiding your murderous son in the walls for 30 plus years and treating a doll like it was your actual son and doing this regimen because if not he's gonna go homicidal and kill everybody I guess that would kind of make me lose my mind a bit and want to kill myself yeah which they do in the stupidest fucking way yeah, possible. Yeah, th that's the other, between unfriended and this, people need to stop killing themselves in dumb ways. They, they fucking load their um, pockets full of rocks and just slowly wade into like the river. And yeah, holding like, hands. Oh, so, like that's just dumb. Oh, that is such a painful way to die. That, if you're gonna, why? why wouldn't you just like hang yourself or some shit? I don't know. I I don't get it. But yeah, even so, I think the um, yeah no, I think the twist worked really well. And Brahms yeah. as a character was actually really like Brahms was. It was really well developed too for someone with so little like screen time. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Ninety-eight percent of the movie, you're just seeing the doll. You're not seeing the kid in the walls who's moving the doll. Um, so I don't know. There, 
Yeah, I think that was that definitely that was what upped the movie for me because, like you said, it was it was it was okay up until that point, and then it had to stop. Up until that point, I would say it was mediocre, but just that last like twenty minutes. I wouldn't go so far as to say it was mediocre because I think I think that the characters actually made it. I don't, it just it was so boring that I couldn't really get into it. I wasn't you know bored. I, mean? that thing, I wasn't bored. I was just sort of like waiting for something. That, I, I, was, I wasn't bored. I wasn't like look, like yawning, looking at my phone. I was just kind I of was. like, okay, well, when is this going to like pick up? I was yawning, looking at my phone. Were you really? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, we, were, we were the only two in the theater. It was literally just anybody. us. Um, so yeah, I think overall it was... Uh, DC is a pretty decent movie, and yeah. I, I, I was, again, pleasantly surprised. If you're going in, like, I think if I went in psyched, I probably would have been a little disappointed. Yes. But I was going in with just thinking, like, all right, it'll be all right. And I was, I was, it was, it was more than all right for me, for sure. So uh, I'll ask you first. What would you, what would you give this? Sorry, yawning. Um, what would I give this? Uh, can I give it two separate ratings? Like, because the end, like, from the twist onward, I'd give a B plus. Really? Yeah, but okay. prior to the twist, I'd give it, like, a, a C-. minus. Really? That much of a difference? The twist yeah. made that much of a difference The twist was a massive... So I'm finding... Uh, it's very hard for me to reconcile these two views together. So uh, I guess average that. What is that? A fucking... A B? B, C+. C plus? That'd be anywhere between a B- minus and a C+. Plus. Yeah, B-, minus C+. Which, plus. ironically, I would say... I was going to say... I'd say probably, like, about that B-, minus C+. Plus. So I'd say... I'll say... C, I'll say C plus. So I could say B minus then. Okay, fair enough. So, B minus C plus. Um, yeah, I because for me a, a B minus has to be at least like a movie that's fun. Like yeah. Unfriended is a solid B minus movie. See, this where... was fun just because the last twenty minutes were so fucking good. The last twenty minutes were so good. I agree with that. I just didn't think that that was enough to make it like B minus. But no, C C plus I think is a solid. And also, it's the cinematography which is. Yeah, I agree with that. It, there were there were it had a lot of like good things going for it. So yeah, I'll say C plus for sure. Um, yeah, B well, minus. Yeah, B minus and C right. plus. That's respectable. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, comment on this video. Let us know if you saw the boy, and if you want us to review anything else, comment and tell us. Or comment. especially with February, there's nothing coming out. Please give us something. Like us on Facebook, Those Horror Pals on Facebook. Yep, facebook.com/backslash Those Horror Pals. Yes, and yeah, so we'll see you soon.